Hi, my name is Martin and I'm from ElectroPartner. We are beginning to see some hotline cases on the 48 volt system and I thought I would like to share this diagnose with you. I already introduced the 48 volt system on the SQ7, but here the car had a 12 volt alternator and from here an inverter that inverted the voltage up to 48 volts and from here to the 48 volt battery. Introducing with the Audi A8, they made a new system called the MHEV, Mild Hybrid System. And here we have a starter alternator that is 48 volt, so the car only has a 48 volt alternator. From here it can go to an inverter and forward from here to a 12 volt battery. So the 12 volt battery is supplied from the inverter and the power is made from the 48 volt battery. I had a case last week that I would like to share with you, so please Take a look at this one. The problems that we have experienced with these cars is on cars that are standing still for a period of more than one or two months, or if they are standing for sale in a showroom and we forget to mount the 12 volt battery charger to the car. When we attach the 12 volt battery charger, the 48 volt battery will also be charged. So that's important if you have these cars in your sales room. If you forget to mount the 12 volt charger, then first you will have the P0A7D fault code saying there's a, there's a low uh, state of charge on the 48 volt battery. Later on, you will get the P0A8000 replace the hybrid EV battery pack, and in this case, it's the 48 volt battery. This battery consists of 13 cells with a cell voltage on 3.68 volts. Inside the lithium battery, there is a contactor so it can uh, determine if we can charge or discharge the battery or if we can, and also we can, um, we can monitor the cell voltage because it's important a lithium battery that you don't have under voltage or over voltage because both cases can create a danger of fire uh, in the battery. So that is the main purpose and I, I will think that's also why the uh, manufacturer recommends to replace the hybrid battery that is because there is a risk that the battery cells is unstable and they no long, longer will take responsibility for the battery. I have heard many garages that uh, ignore this fault code and they choose to ch charge the battery uh, using a lithium charger. It's very important that you select this uh, with people that know how to charge a lithium battery, also know how to do cell balancing afterwards. I've heard uh, bicycle mechanics, they have the e-bikes now and they are very familiar with this problem with under voltage and they don't have any problems charging these batteries. But of course, this is up to you and how you, uh, you address this. But please never use a normal charger. Don't mess with this battery if you don't have the necessary education. The uh, 48 volt battery is not cheap. It costs 2000 euro plus VAT. So if it needs to be replaced, at least we, it would be nice to have some sort of diagnose other than Otis telling us to replace the battery. So we were a bit curious. So we tried to do what we could with Otis. The first thing it did was to check the configuration of the battery. And still, it, uh, even though the configuration was correct, it wanted us to replace the battery. We checked the uh, maximum cell voltage uh, on the 48 volt battery. It was 3.258 voltage and the minimum voltage for one of the battery cells was 3.223 voltages. So it is a little bit off when you have the, uh, the standard, the fully charged cell voltage on 3.68 volt. We also took a measurement of the uh, capacity of the battery. The total uh, voltage was uh, 42 volt as a minimum, and that is a deviation of 12.5 percentage. We tried to go to special functions. There is a function where you can close the charging contactor, and that was the relay inside the battery. And uh, we tried to do this, but there was a cancellation condition uh, that said if the fault code P0A8000 was stored, then you could no longer do this adaption. So we tried to do it, but unfortunately it would not allow us. 
if we only had the fault code P0A7D, then I would suspect that we could easily use this um, feature and attach a 12 volt charger and the 48 volt battery could now be recharged using Otis and the 12 volt battery charger. But this was not the case because we have this fault code, so there wasn't anything we could do from here. It also say that the requirements for the adaption is that it needs to be between 5 and 15% state of charge. And the strange, strange thing was that this case, it was only 12.5%. So it should, be, um, it should be doable, but unfortunately, in this case, we couldn't uh, force the charging. So we uh, tried to ask around and we also found out that there was actually software manipulation on this car. If this has anything to say, I can't say for sure, but uh, it was interesting, although we have had three cases with this all the same. Um, I don't know if this workshop will replace the 48 volt battery or if he will send it to someone with the proper knowledge on how to charge the lithium battery. But at least now we had some measurements on this and I thought this was interesting to share with you. Also be aware of the 12 volt lithium batteries can be found uh, it looks a lot like a normal battery, but you can see there is a connector going to the battery. And of course, you also need to take care if you use a booster or jumper cable on these batteries. I hope that you found this information useful and also that you will send in tips to us. Even though it's just a small experience, it could be important to know where the threshold is or the procedure how to charge these battery if there is a fault. Send them in to a tip to us and we will make sure it gets to all of our customers. Thanks for watching and see you next time.